破。Hey guys, it's Flux here, and today I'll show you how to export 3D models from a 3D modeling software to Gnomus 2 for your coasters. So first things first, you need 3D modeling software. I'm using SketchUp Pro, but you'll need something that exports to .3ds format. So I'm pretty sure that the original, there's the free version of SketchUp, does not export to that format. So keep that in mind if you're using that. Um, but regardless of what you use, all you need to do is export to .3ds. So uh, if you're in SketchUp, first things first, you go to File and then Export and 3D Model here. You'll see I have it selected under uh, the .3ds format, which is what you want to use. And then under my um, my name here, I do have a space. You'll see I could replace it with an underscore, but uh, for just demonstration purposes, I'll leave it as a space. But you'll see that uh, Sketch doesn't like that too much. I don't think the game does either. You need to have, uh, I guess, their required characters. You can't put spaces in or whatever. So usually you do underscores, but um, I'll show you what happens. But regardless, what you want to do is you want to export to... Uh, the same folder that contains your coaster file. So in this situation, I'll, I don't know why I just, fro oh, just froze there one minute here. Um, you want to go to the same folder that has your coaster in it. So for me, I have right here, but uh, if you didn't change the location of your coaster, which uh, I did, but you probably didn't, you'll need to go to Documents and then No Limits Coaster right here, and it should be in here somewhere. Uh, you won't see it in um, in the exporter, but if you go to your, your actual documents and look for it, you should be able to find it and then put it in that same folder. But for me, I have it in my own folder. If I go to Documents and then Gnomus 2, Save Files, My Files, Rush, I have it in a different spot, but it doesn't really matter. You can see I already have two things exported right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the industrial bench in. You'll see when I export it, it's gonna be this little error. It's gonna say that I have a space in my name, which is an issue. So it replaces it automatically right here. Hit OK. And we have an exported object with the materials, which is the best part about, no Limit, or about SketchUp. So we can close this now and head over to our no limits too. This is where I'm going to my root folder now. You can see in Rush, I've got uh, the the coaster and everything itself. This is actually just all these different objects I've already made, but I believe this is it right here. Here's the actual uh, coaster file. So if you didn't have other things already exported, all this crap that I have in here right now, you probably just have your park file, and then you'd have the 3ds and then I have two textures that I used I used metal 21 and wood 3 so all those should appear and that's all you really need to worry about everything else should be um, probably not there but once you finish up the next part is in the game itself all right now we are in game here you see I'm in my rush coaster work in progress kind of park and once you have all your materials and your 3d object in the same folder as your park file you're good to go you can go ahead and head in here and You'll notice if you just go to choose and click on the 3ds format you can already see it right here but you don't want to use this one this one will have lighting bugs if you use sketchup you can't do any rotations or whatever else it's much easier if you just import it as an nl2 sco object so you go to nl2 sco editor right here click on the new button and then name yours i'm going to make mine industrial underscore bench there we go Save it as a NL2 SCO format file. And then from here, we can go to 3D model, click on your industrial bench or whatever else you're using. And it needs to be in 3DS format, obviously, or else it won't find it. It's all you can really use. Um, I guess you could also use, um, oh, these are for uh, the, the, uh, the meshes and the textures, but you'll be using .3DS, so that's what you got right there. Click on open, and there it is. So once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. You can also scale it and position it and whatever else. So if you want all of them to show up the same in like a different scale, so you made it too small or too big or whatever, you can do that right here and it'll from then on make them all that same size. Um, but what you definitely want to do is go to advanced and if you use SketchUp, make sure you check the fix ambient materials that will fix the weird lighting bugs that happen. Um, if you use Blender or other things, you may want to look at these as well. It might uh, fix some bugs you may get from it. You can also script it, you can add lights to it, whatever, all this stuff you can do. Even custom materials if you didn't want to or you didn't actually apply textures or whatever. But generally you'll have just a 3D format um, model and then you'll just need to fix the lighting bug. So once you do that, you can click on the save button and there you go. You could also save as if you don't like just clicking this button, I don't know. Whatever, there you go, it's saved and good to go. So now you go to choose and you'll see it shows up right here as an NL2 SCO format. Click on OK, and there you have it. You got it right here. You can go to Add Object, and I'm just going to add it right here. There we go. And I'm going to 
position it a little bit. You can see the shadows are all applied and fixed. They're not all dark and buggy like they will be if you don't make it NL2. So there you have it. That's the that's how you import 3D objects to No Limits 2. Hope this helped, guys. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.